Falstead is an open JavaScript-based software for simulating electric and electronic circuits. This is done directly in an internet browser and can be used on the PC, smartphone or tablet without having to install it. Falstead can be started directly via the page www.falstead.com circuit. The Falstead circuit simulator can be used in teaching to build and simulate circuits. In addition, targeted virtual measurement exercises can be carried out, for example, to record a resistance characteristic. The Falstead simulator can also be used as a control tool to check calculation results or dependencies. Falstead is free of charge and can be used in online teaching as well as in face-to-face -face teaching. Now let's take a closer look at Falstead. The simulation itself is structured as follows. At the top we see the applet and at the bottom we have more detailed information. Under the point directions we find an instruction manual and via the point above we can switch to the full screen version. Here we see an example circuit. The circuit consists of different components. The oscillating circuit can be seen below. We can also show oscillators. If we now move our mouse over the individual components of the circuit, we can look at information such as the voltage source or the resistance of the circuit in the text area below. The circuit can be stopped or started from the beginning at any time. This is done with the run stop or reset button. With the help of the two sliders, the simulation speed and the current speed can be controlled. That means I can make the simulation run faster or slower, or I can make the current run faster or slower. Both are set separately for individual controllers. If I now go to the resistor and click on sliders, I can also control the resistance. But I don't need that here because they are already provided on the right side of the circuit. That means I can change the capacitance, the inductance and the resistance. So I can adjust each component with the help of a slider. So then let's have a look at the menu bar. Under the menu item file, created files can be exported, local files and text can be imported and circuits can be printed. To save the circuit, there are several possibilities under file. The own circuit can be saved locally as a text file. This text file can then be imported at any time to continue working on the circuit again. It's also possible to export the circuit as a link. In this case, all information of the circuit will be inserted in a URL. This very long URL can also be shortened by clicking on the Shorten URL button. This link is not a permanent link, but rather a shortened form of the export import function. Unfortunately, it's also not possible to work together with several people on one circuit. Under Edit, we find common functions such as copy and paste with a reference to the common key combinations. Under Draw, all available circuit elements are listed, which can be inserted into the circuits. This selection is also displayed when the right mouse button is pressed. All components, connections, inputs and outputs, logic gates and so on can be selected to build the desired circuit and simulate it in real time. Here the oscilloscopes can be classified. Under settings, some basic settings can be made. I can also switch between technical and physical current. For better illustration, I can select under further settings whether voltages or powers should be displayed in color during running simulation. Under circuits, there are already completed circuits that can be selected. I can see a large number of categorized and ready-made example circuits, which I can fall back on and also adapt. Now I will start with creating my own circuit. For that, I have to open New Circuit. I start by adding components via the menu item draw or by right mouse click on components. I start by taking three resistors and a voltage source. I connect the components either by inserting connections here above or by dragging a component connection with the left mouse button. It's important that each component is selected and connected to the voltage source individually. I cannot drag a single connection across all resistors. Now I can see how the current flows. At the top left of the circuit it flows faster, then it branches off and becomes slower per branch. If I go to the connections or the individual components, I can see the individual information and sizes at the bottom of the text field. 
By right-clicking on the components, I can change the resistance values. This is how the current that flows through the circuit varies. If I now want to look at the measurement with the oscilloscope, I can take a right-click on a component to display its current and voltage curve on the oscillogram. Let's try this. The display can be adjusted by right-clicking in the oscillogram. For example, for power measurement, extreme values and so on. Several oscillograms are also possible. These can be stacked and or combined here. As you can see, Faucet is not only suitable for creating and simulating your own circuits, it's also for applying and testing the extensive measurement and oscilloscope functions on the prefabricated circuits. The large amount of prefabricated circuits covers many topics of electrical engineering. From the basics like series and parallel circuits, capacitances and inductances to logic gates and conduction theory. The prefabricated circuits can be used to deal with specific electrical engineering topics on your own, or they can be used very well as teaching aids. Now I wish a lot of fun in creating your own circuits, as well as testing of prefabricated circuits.